This video will explain how to create and use color palettes in Studio Artist. Color palettes can be accessed in the source area. First switch over to palette mode. There are three types of palettes. Fixed, palletize, and random. Fix allows you to choose one of the palette colors to paint with and is normally used with manual painting. With this mode to choose a color, you would just mouse down on one of the palette squares. In palletize mode, Studio Artist tries to match the source image color to the closest color in the current color palette. Random mode is great for creating abstract images. There are several choices you can use to create a new palette. I like using the source image and choosing images off of the internet to make interesting palettes. It's really easy to do. For instance, I did an image search on Paul Clay. I then just dragged an image to the source area. If you wanted to generate gray tones, you could choose a black and white photo. Next, choose Edit, Palette, Generate From, and choose Source Image. There are other choices here as well. Canvas Image, Selected Canvas Image, which will generate a color palette from your selection, Source Gradient, and Random Toss, which will randomly create a palette. I am now going to bring back the Lotus image, which is the one that I want to paint. I also need to change from Paint Mode to Palletize Mode for the preset to use the palette I just created. You can also customize your palette manually. You can pick a color from the canvas or source image by holding down the C key and mousing over the color you want. It will show up in this first color square. You can also choose a color from the color wheel. I'm going to choose a blue since there is no blue in this particular palette. But I want a blue that is not in the original source image. So I will choose one from the wheel. Next I option click for Mac or alt click for Windows in one of the squares in the palette to change the color to blue. Now I can either go back to my Lotus image and make sure Palletize is the current setting, or I can paint from the palette mode making sure Palletize is current. Either way will work. Now it's adding a bit of blue from the palette to the image. The other methods to change the palette are to randomize the source color. This method uses the source color to generate the palette. Choose Edit, Palletize, Randomize Source Color. Try the various options to see what they do. You can also sort by color distance, luminance, hue, and saturation. Another neat trick is that you can change the luminance, hue, or saturation of the palette with hotkeys. L for luminance, H for hue, and S for saturation. You can save your palette to memory 1 or memory 2 by recording and playing back. You can export color palettes by choosing File, Export, then Export Color Palette. You can also control click for Mac or right click for Windows in the source area with the palette mode active to import or export palettes. And you can also save a palette in a paint preset, which will be explained in the next video in this series. Palettes are a great way to create a lot of different looks with factory or personal presets.